This is one of the oldest sports in the world and it's called cricket. Uh, I don't know whether uh, my American friends uh, actually play this, whether you play this in America. I'm sure that people do. Uh, but as I say, it's one of the oldest sports in the world, cricket. And this is a match taking place between some local people uh, on a very, very lovely, sunny Wednesday afternoon. And they have all these very, very peculiar terms uh, for different, different manoeuvres manoeuvres that they make whilst playing. Like leg before wicket, if you put your leg in front of the ball and stop it from hitting those little stumpy things, which are called wickets. And you've got to hit those wickets and you knock the man out. And the winner is the one who gets the most runs. Cricket in London on a lovely summer's evening. Let's see what this guy does here. Here comes the bowler. Here we go. Unlucky gorgeous, I think he was talking to me. <laughs> uh, I'm once again living dangerously. Uh, I'm like about two yards from the uh, perimeter line, which that guy has just walked past. There's like some white, I'm sitting here someday then. And if you go in there, you, you risk your life because the ball is really, really seriously hard. Uh, and you could, you could actually kill someone if you hit them with it. Uh, professional cricketers, as I'm sure that most of you have seen, actually wear big steel helmets uh, and they're all padded up like uh, American uh, football players, which we call, which you call, hang on, I won't even go into that one, football, soccer, and it was the famous playwright George Bernard Shaw who referred to the difference in American and English language as uh, two nations divided by a single language and it's very very true a very very big hello to Debbie from Reno in Nevada hello Debbie I'm living dangerously I'm off the bicycle there it is on the floor and I'm just chilling out now having a very nice evening I may go swimming afterwards there's a, a lake one can swim in very close Someone was involved in the fourth way for many, many years, an English guy who went to California and did a bit of work with John Pentland, and his name was Robert de Rock, uh, and he wrote something which is highly recommended, and it's called The Master Game. Uh, it's in two volumes, and it's, it's his personal account uh, of his time with the fourth way and an anal and a analysis of the fourth way. That's Robert de Rob, the master game. Simply it wouldn't be England without a cricket of, a, of an early evening. Let's shout it again, lovely, gorgeous. I just come here for the compliments, obviously, and to be, to be buttered up. That's a nice expression, isn't it? Buttered up. To be made all sort of shiny and feel lovely, buttered up. So that's just a little slice of London life on a summer's evening from Hermes Noel and the Fourth Way. And it's all interconnected, everything. Let's watch this guy, this bowler, here he comes there. The pitch is 22 feet in length. And as we can see, there's two players there. And they actually run up and down between the stumps. Life is good. Life is very, very good. Anyone coming to London would have a game of cricket one day, for sure. The master game. Thank you very much for watching. This was only supposed to be a short, but I've never done anything short. It's just not in my nature, is it? Uh, London is such a very, very beautiful city. All 2,000 years of it. And it's one of the largest cities in the world. It's absolutely ginormous. And I happen to live a few miles away from 
the very, very centre in a, a suburb, more or less a, a large village called Wandsworth. And it takes its name because there is a magical ley line running through Wandsworth, and the name is from the suit of wands in the tarot deck, the wands, Wandsworth. Right, we're going to have lots of uh, nice freshly squeezed lemonade and put our cricket hats on and just chill and have a beautiful evening. And so are you too. There we go. Oh, it's coming over. It's going to knock me out. Hang on. Hang on, I'm getting knocked out. Ah!